Uh, my name is Yasuna Goto from uh, EFSAS Technologies Inc. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to talk about exploring CXL memory configuration and emulation. Uh, here is a contents of con uh, table of contents. Uh, at first, I'd like to have an introduction. Uh, I'd, I'd like to explain what is CXL and, and something, and a summary of QA emulation, uh, basic information of CXL, uh, preparation of emulation environment. Uh, how to start QM CMC emulation environment and operation on the guest OS side after boot and conclusion. Uh, please note one thing. Uh, though I try to make sure there is no mistakes in my presentation, uh, there might be misunderstandings or inaccuracies yet. So if you can find mistakes, uh, please let me know. So, okay, uh, let's start in introduction. So, what is CXL? CXL is abbreviation of Computer Express Link. Uh, it's a new interconnect specification that connects devices and such as PCI Express. It's suitable to connect smart devices uh, like GPGPU, uh, smart NIC, FGA, computational storage, and so on. So offloading processing is necessary uh, due to uh, CPU performance limitation. So GPGPU, FPGA, SmartNIC must handle the processing instead. It allows interactive access between CPUs and six L devices by additional cache coherence protocol. Uh, this will enable more efficiency data exchange between them. In addition, it's also useful to expand memory, uh, volatile memory and persistent memory. Uh, memory capacity needs to be increased. Uh, while the number of CPU cores has increased, uh, memory capacity has not kept pace. But because uh, DDR is a parallel interface, it's difficult to increase the number of CPU pins to connect more memory. So the CXL specification also allows for increased memory capacity. So this specification is expected, ex expected for next generation server in the AI era. I talk about its summary in last year's OSSJ, uh, please check the below slide. So, CX memory is expected to meet the following requirements. The first one is increased memory capacity. Uh, memory so many software, uh, such as AI, machine learning, or HPC workloads, and DB database, uh, demand huge amount of memory. CXL, CXL allows connecting large capacity memory for such use of software. And next one is increasing memory bandwidth. Uh, memory bandwidth sometimes a bottleneck. So CXL offers additional memory bandwidth. So more efficient resource utilization is necessary. Uh, users want to make more efficient resource utilization and improve the system scalability. Uh, CXL provides a way to create memory pools and accessible by multiple hosts. In addition, uh, software and hardware support for CXL memory devices is more advanced than support for GPGPUs and SmartNICs. And GPGPU and other devices require vendor-specific implementations. However, uh, memory expansion benefits from common development within the CXL specification. Therefore, uh, CXL memory is expected to the first uh, CXL device released. So current problem on CXL is here. So what is required to use CXL? Basically, uh, obviously, software and hardware. For, for hardware, a CPU with CXL support includes a CXL host bridge must be necessary. And a CXL uh, capable platform is necessary. Uh, CXL capable PCI Express connection, a CXL switch, and CXL support firmware is necessary. And officially released CXL devices are also necessary. Unfortunately, officially released CXL devices are not yet available. Uh, currently, only sample devices are provided, and only a few people can use them. However, uh, many software developers need to prepare for the release day. Of OS drivers, Linux kernel developers, uh, middle management software developers, uh, middleware developers, and etc. 
And additionally,、uh, researchers need to investigate CXL's characteristics. So, CXL hardware emulation environment is crucial for such preparation. I think、uh, QM is useful for CXL memory emulation. To emulate CXL memory,、uh, so what is QM? So,、uh, QM is an open source machine emulator. It can emulate the same of different architecture and platform on your machine. It handles memory and I/O access and emulates them as needed. And if you use KVM as a virtual machine on Linux, then you are already using a part of QM. KVM utilizes hardware-assisted virtualization features such as Intel VTX. It detects and intercepts CPU instructions. I/O access or memory access that should not be executed on the VM guest, QM, QM emulates these actions instead. So, why is QM useful for CXL emulation? Many CXL emulation features are already implemented in QM. Its development is very active. It supports not only simple connection,、uh, but also complex CXL memory configuration. This makes it an excellent environment for software development and researchers.、Uh, problem to use、uh, QM CXL emulation is the first one is the information provided is insufficient for average users like me.、Uh, while there is a document for CXL emulation in QM official site. Uh, it seems to be written primarily、uh, for experts, so necessary information is scattered across various places. It requires uh, requiring uh, extensive searching. QM site describes only its options, but you need to know how to use CXL command in the guest OS too.、Uh, you may need to examine the source code or Git log of related software. Uh, QM, CXL command, or kernel, and etc. to find the cause of error. Today,、uh, I'll talk about how to emulate and configure and use a CXL memory device environment with many tips and my recommendations. So, summary of QM、uh, CXL emulation. Here is a use case of QM CXL emulation. What do you can do and what you cannot do. So first,、uh, first use case is studying how CXL devices are presented in Linux. And next one is studying the behaviors of new features of Linux kernel for CX memory.、Uh, for example,、uh, memory tearing, weighted iterative, and etc. And next one is de de developing and testing CXL drivers、uh, commands and、uh, the Linux kernel itself. Actually,、uh, my team member found a rest condition bug of hot memory hot plug in the Linux kernel by the emulation environment hot plug feature. And next one is developing a par layer software for CXL, middleware, orchestrator, and any other new generation software. And what you cannot do is one first one is performance evaluation. Emulation cannot emulate bandwidth and latency of real CXL memory device. Additionally,、uh, memory access speed is the emulated environment、uh, significantly slower than in a typical KVM guest environment. So, and you don't expect a perfect emulation.、Uh, this emulation is still under development.、Uh, there are some features that have not been implemented yet. Additionally,、uh, there are some limitations yet. For example, a bug、uh, currently requires users to fully shut down and start the guest OS instead of、uh, using a simple reboot command. So, what features are currently emulatable?、Uh, basically, uh, basically, uh, CXL 2.0 spec or later is supported. Uh, since uh, making a generic emulation of CXL 1.1 was difficult for some reasons, it was skipped. And CXL memory can be emulated. Both volatile memory and passive memory are available. Other devices, or like、uh, GPGPU, are not emulated yet. 
So you can configure a more complex connection. Uh, memory, many memory devices can be connected via CXL switches. And memory interim configuration is also available. And uh, hot program, uh, entire CXL memory device is available, wh uh, which is based on uh, CXL 2.0 specification. Uh, however, uh, today I'll not talk about it due to uh, not having enough time. And hot program part of six memory device might be available. It's based on the uh, dynamic capacity device feature of six three point zero specification. Unfortunately, I have not tried it, it yet, so I'll not talk about it, it either. So today, I'll talk about the features marked as yes in this table. So. Uh, to make uh, emulation environment, uh, there is a required uh, prerequisite knowledge. To successfully following this guide, you will need the following uh, operation of KVM virtual machine, uh, download of QM upstream code, and build and start it, and download the compiler and install the upstream Linux kernel. Uh, you need to change the kernel build config options. The default kernel provided by distributors uh, may not work well in the uh, CXL emulation environment. And you need to build and install it in the guest, of, uh, guest side for the emulation environment. Today, I will not talk about the details of the above. Uh, if you need them, uh, please check them later. And of course, uh, basic CXL knowledge is required. Uh, today, uh, I bring, bring uh, the summary of uh, relevant CX components and the concept will be provided in the next section. Um, so, uh, this is uh, basic information of CXL. So, here is the uh, key hardware uh, or components of CXL. QM can emulate the following hardware components. In other words, uh, you need to specify them to start your emulation environment. The first one is host bridge. The root of the uh, connection tree for CXL devices equivalent to the host bridge in PCI Express. Typically, uh, it's integrated into the CPU. The next one is root port. Uh, it's downstream connection port of the host bridge. In, in the emulation setting, this is used to define how CXL objects are connected. And next one is CXL switch. Uh, connects an upstream port and to multiple downstream ports. Its connection information is used for emulation. And blue HD mark is H, uh, HDM decoder. Its role is the translation between the host physical address and the device physical address. It's especially important for memory interleave feature. At least, uh, you need to find the root decoder, which is included in first bridge, to use CXL memory. Next, uh, next what you need, uh, need to know is the concept of region. Uh, to use CXL memory device on Linux, uh, you need to know about region. region. A region is an area allocated from a part of six memory device or from multiple memory devices that were configured for interleaving. In QM CXL emulation, uh, you need to configure one or more regions to use the six memory devices after you guest OS boot. I'll explain how to configure it in this talk. So, Let's prepare for emulation environment. At first, uh, you need to make a guest image for uh, QM6 emulation. Please prepare a bare metal machine for your QM emulation environment. If you can use a battery store, cockpit, or a bat manager with KVM, it's an easy way to make your guest image. Uh, create one guest image and install a Linux OS, and ensure there is enough storage to build kernel on the guest. After I installed the VM guest, I recommended uh, configuring the serial console of the guest. Its information will be displayed on the QM console. After VM guest has started, uh, please check a record the options 
specified for the Q, uh, QM command that is executed for your guest. Uh, it's just enter ps uh, grab QM to check it. Most of the, uh, these QM command options are used for emulation environment. CPU, DRAM memory, storage, and network settings are necessary. Here's an example of, from my environment. Next one is you need to prepare a new kernel that can work the, in the six emulation environment. Uh, you need to build and install it on your VM guest. At a minimum, the following command must be enabled when you build the new kernel. Uh, they must be enabled even in a real CXL environment. In addition, I recommend to enable the following conf uh, config option of memory hot plug to. I, I'll explain in the reason later. Additionally, the following config option is essential only for the six emulation environment. Config region invalidated test. If this is not enabled, uh, some operations on the guest OS may not work with errors. To be honest, I don't, I don't uh, understand the uh, details of the, the reasons, but uh, from, uh, Git, from GitLog, uh, there is a disc description about uh, cache, uh, cache write back and in invalidation reasons. So if, if you want to do more details, uh, please check the commit to this one. Its option is probably uh, disabled in the distributor's kernel. Since many developers are uh, enhanced the uh, kernel and six driver, uh, using a new kernel is better. So next one is getting and build the six command on the, your guest. The six command is used for configuring and checking the status of six devices. A newer version of this command is better for six emulation uh, due to bug fix and uh, new features. The newest version is V80, uh, which was released uh, this month, 8th. I recommend downloading and build it from the GitHub. Its source code is included ND control repository, uh, which is a command for persistent memory. So after preparing the kernel and the CXL command in your guest image, uh, you can shut down the KVM guest OS. Uh, to start CXL emulation environment, you need to start QM with different options uh, compared to the uh, normal KVM setup. And finally, uh, you need to download and build the newest QM. As mentioned before, uh, CXL emulation development is very active. Therefore, uh, newer QM has newer CX future and bug fix. Since uh, the version of QM included with the distributors is relatively old, I recommend downloading newer QM source code from the official site and building it on your parameter machine. In QM, uh, there are no uh, special notice for build unlike the uh, Linux kernel. However, it might, be, it might be better not to install the built uh, QM binary to avoid conflicts with the distributor's package. So I recommend uh, executing the build QM command from your home directory. And next is how to start QM CX emulation environment. So I'll show you uh, three examples to start QM. The first one is simple connection of six volatile memory. Uh, host bridge, root port, and one single six memory device. And next one is uh, persistent memory instead. And third one is a complex connection, uh, two root port, uh, two six switches, and four six memory devices. Since uh, this is a simple connection of six volatile memory. QM defines various devices in its command options, and it is the same for six emulated devices. To specify them easily, I recommend creating a, a simple shell script to start it. Here is an example of a simple connect, uh, connection of six memory setup as shown in the, uh, this figure. One host bridge and one root port and one six of memory. The text in black font 
can remain the same as when you executed uh, your VM guest. And the text in red font indicates what you need to add or modify for emulation. Since there are many new options, I'll describe the meaning of each option from the next page. Uh, these two lines are used for uh, create CXL Type 3 memory device. The first one is the definition of backend device for memory emulation. Memory backend RAM means that you use DDR DRAM of the bare metal. And bare metal servers are the back, uh, backend for the emulated device. Size is allocation size, and it also means emulated memory size. ID is, is a unique na name for this backend. The next one is definition of a memory device. A CXL type 3 means CXL memory device. Bus equal specify which port is used for connection of this device. And volatile memory VMEM specifies the backend ID. And ID is a unique name for the, uh, this CXL memory. Next one is definition of CXL host bridge and root port. This one is a host bridge. Uh, in, in this example, a bus number of the host bridge is 12. Its connection is under PCI Express bus 0. And CXL.1 is identifier of this host bridge. And here is the definition of the root port of the host bridge. CXL RP dot port equal zero specifies the port number. And bus equals CXL dot one indicates that this port belongs to the CXL dot one host bridge. The bus number of devices under this root port becomes uh, 13 by ID root port 13. And charges and sorts, uh, uh, this pair is mandatory and must be unique for each. Uh, basically, a slot number must be uh, ch changed for each. And of course, uh, CXL equal on must be specified to use CXL emulation. So this line is for firmware emulation and reserve guest physical address space for CXL. CXL FMW is to emulate CXL fixed memory windows, uh, CFMWS. Uh, which shows physical address map of six memory device from firmware to OS. In this example, target zero is used for the six root port, and six FMW zero size must be specified with a size larger than uh, the total size of six devices that belongs to this table. Uh, in this example, uh, four gigabyte is allowed. For finally. Uh, this is the uh, most important thing. Uh, you need to disable the hardware system for virtualization. If not, it can cause unpredictable issues in the emulation. In our case, uh, an illegal instruction error occurred in the emulation environment until we disabled it. Since uh, CX memory is interleaved at granularities as fine as uh, 64 bytes, the emulator needs to translate read and write access at this size. However, uh, hardware assist can detect only the page size of the architecture, like uh, 4 gigabyte, uh, 4 kilobyte or more. So you need to, uh, this uh, Axel TCG should be this, uh, specified instead of Axel KVM, and enable KVM should be removed. Though uh, this is not written uh, in QM6 public website, uh, but the dispatch commit says more details are reasons. So if you can uh, succeed or boot up uh, your terminal, uh, which is, is running QM, display the OS console as shown below. You can use this console or log in from another terminal via SSH. So here is an example of a persistent memory tie. For persistent memory, uh, for backend file, uh, a file is better than RAM to uh, maintain data persistency. If the file already exists, its size must match the spe uh, size specified in this file line. 
if space file size does not match the actual file size, uh, QEM uh, will fail to start. Shared on is recommended to save your data as persistent memory. If it's off, uh, then the written data will not be applied to the shared file. In this example, the file size must be uh, 256 megabytes. And in addition, uh, persistent memory has a label storage area in this uh, from specification, uh, which stores the setting when the internal area or, uh, of the device is divided for use. To emulate it, you also need to add its definition with the back, uh, backend file. Next one is example of CXL switch emulation. Uh, you can uh, create a more complex environment. Here is uh, an example of where four CXL memory devices are connected via uh, two CXL switches. A CXL switch definition consists of a pair of upstream port and multiple dashboard ports. In this example, two pairs of switches are defined, upstream port and downstream port, and two root port. And two memory devices are connected to each, uh, to each switch. So you can create uh, such a complex uh, configuration. After a boot up, uh, you need to operate the guest OS side. What you need is, at first, uh, confirmation of six memory device, how to confirm the presence of six memory, and operation about regions. Uh, to use six memory device, uh, you need to configure one or more regions from the guest OS side. I'll show you three examples of creation and regions, like the examples of QM option, uh, simple connection, and personal memory, and complex connection. And here is a simple example. Uh, uh, you can find uh, six memory and decoders uh, in, by this option. Uh, M lists all memory device, uh, hyphen large D lists all, all, dec uh, all decoders, and you show some data in human readable format. And you can find the name of memory device and root decoder in this example. Now, this name needs to be specified to create a region. To create a region, uh, you need to specify the root decoder uh, memory device name and memory usage type as a volatile memory. Hyphen T RAM means that uh, this region is used as volatile memory. OS and user application can use six memory emulated memory after this command completion. However, uh, if the kernel of the guest OS is not compiled with the config memory hot plug. Uh, 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 config memory hot plug default online option. Uh, memory hot out operations are required after the uh, region creation yet. Uh, this requires knowledge of uh, memory hot plug. Its operation is a bit troublesome for the first trial of emulation, CXL emulation. This is why I recommend the, uh, its option. Uh, you can confirm that new memory, new memory is added and the node is created by using the free command and the number control com uh, command. This is an example. Eight gigabyte six memory region is created in an environment with two eight gigabyte DDR DRAM uh, NUMA node. Uh, the total memory size is increased right from here to here. Eight gigabyte is added, and a new node is created with CPU as a new uh, CPU-less NUMA node. Next one is persistent memory example. Uh, currently, uh, you may need to clear label storage area first, uh, the, uh, because uh, six drivers LC support is inadequate. The namespace creation operation uh, described below may not work unless this operation performed. To create it, uh, the NV control zero labels command can be uh, used as a workaround. For persistent memory, uh, you need to specify PMEM for the type, uh, hyphen type option of create region. If you specify the size option, uh, you can use a portion of the device. In this example, uh, 256 megabyte size region is created in 2 gigabyte memory device. 
The storage like nature of PassNet memory makes this feature useful in case where you need the different users to access the different part. After region creation, uh, you can create namespace in the region by the energy control command, uh, similar to non volatile DIM uh, of the memory. Next one is how to create interleaved region. Uh, when you want to uh, create interleaved region, uh, you need to specify all of the members of memory device. If all, member, uh, all the memory devices are connected under a six switch, it's easy. Uh, just, uh, you just need to specify all of the na name of the devices. However, uh, if we want to create interleaved region with multiple switches, uh, it's currently a bit more difficult. Please note uh, that you must specify the correct order of the memory device. If you select a memory device under one switch as a uh, first specified device, you need to specify a memory device under another switch next. In other words, the order of six switch must be alternate. The order of memory device under a switch can be whichever comes first. Uh, to confirm this connection, uh, this command will be useful. It can display the topology of all the memory devices and switches in JSON format. So, conclusion. Uh, I introduced how to use QMS CXL military. Uh, to make it easier for everyone to use, I showed many tips and uh, my recommendations. I hope this is a good start for you to uh, use it. And there are more features in QMS CXL emulation, uh, such as hot plug, uh, that I couldn't introduce today. So please refer to the official information and other guys to uh, QM official site, um, one page of Shakespeare command, uh, blog post about Shakespeare, and talk with each of this community. I really hope that uh, this will increase the number of software engineers interested in Shakespeare. Uh, please try the Shakespeare emulator on your machine. Thank you very much. Question? Mm -hmm. I uploaded uh, this slide to uh, Speaker Deck and, of course, uh, open, open Summit Japan site, uh, scale.org. So you can refer this, uh, this slide after uh, return to your home or your office. So please refer uh, later. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much.